Good afternoon. This is 101 with 61, and I'm your host, Jamar Reed, number 61 of the UTEP football team. Each week, I will bring to you a student athlete and tell you their story. This week, I bring you a story from a guy from El Paso who's a trooper at Eastwood, Ruben Munoz. One on one with Ruben Munoz. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Ruben. Well, I was born in El Paso, Texas. You know, born and raised here. My uh, one goal and dream was to come and play football here at UTEP. Is your parents from, uh, from here as well? Both my parents were raised in Juarez. They came over to El Paso and uh, we, they've been living in the same house for 24 years. Plus. So watching UTEP as a young age and then being able to be on the team, is it, more, is it like a dream come true for you? Yeah, it's more. Yeah, it's actually a dream come true right now. Where I sit right now, and sometimes I, it's bad to say that I can't believe I'm here right now, but it is true because like I never thought I would be able to be where I'm at right now. You know, I mean, I've had to overcome so many things, and uh, I mean, just looking at my size, I'm not a typical defensive lineman that every college wants at a six four. You know, fast. What were some obstacles that you that you overcame? Well, what was it was hard is um, I mean, when you come here, you know, you're a walk on, so to work your way to you know get the respect from everybody else because I mean, it's just like a job. You you're the one that's below everybody else. So I mean, it was hard though. Now that I earned my scholarship, I mean, it's better financially for my parents. You know, they don't have to worry about my school. So did your role change from last year to this year? Or is it, is it still the same? But how do you feel about playing underneath the coach that you have now? Well, well, when Coach Patterson came in, he told me the first day I met him, since he's been in the NFL, he doesn't care if you're a walk-on or a scholarship player. And I took that to heart because I was like, if I really show him that I can work hard and play, he's going to play me. And obviously, everything I did, it paid off. So being a, being a football player, I mean, I understand because I'm a football player as well, but there comes times, you know, where things are tough. And have you had any of those moments while while playing at UTEP? Well, yeah, like when Coach Patterson came in in the spring, my grandfather, he was actually diagnosed with uh, cancer in his bones, which is called multiple myeloma. And I, I had never heard of it. And he kind of kept it away from our whole family. We didn't know until he had to go to the hospital. And it had to do with his calcium. It was high and everything. So what I would do is I was in... I would have practice and then I would go to the hospital and be there with him till like 10, 11 at night, then go the next day and be there every night with him to help him out to what he needed and it just inspired me a few times. Just looking at someone, he couldn't get up and walk because his bones were so weak and just to look at someone every day that couldn't get up and walk on his own inspired me to go out and practice even harder knowing that whatever was my last practice. And I mean, he doesn't have the chance to play, you know what I'm saying? So it made me even realize more how much I love football more and just work harder to play. I mean, my whole family has been really strong and we have always been close, you know what I mean? I've had family that's seen me play since I've been six years old and haven't missed a game, which are my godparents. And they've gone to every football game and basketball game throughout my whole career. I mean, they've never missed a game and they've been here for me. So, I mean, I. I did have family to be there for me. I mean, because my grandfather, I mean, he was just a great man. You know? I heard from a guy on the team, uh, one of your best friends, Jamie Pohoko, he told me uh, a couple weeks ago that your dad had a, he had a, a wrestling match. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he does that as a hobby. He's a wrestler, and uh, he wrestles in Juarez, and go wrestle for free for charity to help people around there. And, I mean, he's been wrestling for... I'm say 20 years. Uh, he always saw that as a hobby, which, you know. I mean, when I was little, I used to actually go on the ring with him, you know, and I used to be his little mascot. So you mentioned you had an older brother. Um, tell me a little bit about, about how he influenced you to play football. Yeah, well, I mean, I think I'm here, mostly it's because of my parents, you know. I mean, how my parents raised us, my mom and my dad, you know. Both my parents that raised us the right way, but obviously having my brother as like someone I looked up to, I was gonna imitate everything he did. He would always help me work out, so I'd get home and he'd be working out and he'd tell me to go work out with him. And along with my dad, I mean, he would make us work out every Sunday morning. 
we would actually go run stadiums, me and my brother and my dad. I mean, my dad influenced us that we had to do stuff to make us better. So he would always tell us that no one's watching you doing these stadiums, but it's going to help you get better. And it really helped me to do stuff on my own later on now that I do stuff on my own, you know, when no one's watching. And that just, I mean, my brother was, um, I mean, you know, when you get to high school and stuff, a lot of people want to be the cool people, you know, and a lot of people want to, like, say that they're cool because they got drunk, you know, and I never saw it as being cool because my brother showed me that, you know what, if you don't do that stuff, you're going to be able to go where you want to go, and that's where I'm at now. But he would always tell me that it was going to pay off for me if I just stuck to what I wanted to do, and obviously it paid off because I'm here now. So coming from a, a Hispanic household, can you speak a little Spanish? Well, you know, in Spanish, do you have a little shout-out for anyone, you know, for anyone watching, do you have a little shout-out for them? Or? Um... Gracias a toda mi familia. Los quiero mucho. Thank you, Ruben, for telling, your, telling us your story and sharing your time with us today. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you. Don't forget to catch me next week as I go one-on-one -on -one with Bernard Obi. Thank you guys for watching. This is one-on-one -on -one with 61. Go Miners.